Derrick Rose had six different injuries this season, the worst of them being a torn ACL suffered in game one of the Bulls first round playoff series against the Sixers. Coincidentally, the Knicks' Iman Shumpert suffered a torn ACL on the very same day. Both players will spend the next 8 to 12 months recovering. It's an injury that has become more and more commonplace and is the subject of this report brought to you by Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. The anterior cruciate ligament is a ligament that goes from the tibia up to the femur, and the posterior cruciate ligament sits behind it. Dr. Brian Cole at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush has seen a huge increase in knee injuries over the years and estimates that 200,000 people tear their ACL every year. Cole performed the surgery on the Bulls' Derrick Rose and explained the lengthy rehab process. The rehab really goes through three phases. The first six weeks, for example, is to get, regain quadricep control, restore motion, manage pain appropriately, get the swelling down. The second phase is sort of spreads away from the knee. Once the knee gets restored, then we start working peripherally away from the knee. Then the third phase basically is getting sort of sports specific activities. So someone like Rose can be running within 10 weeks and doing basketball related activities in four months. Medical advancements have come a long way in a short period of time. It wasn't too long ago that a torn ACL was a career ending injury. Now Derek Rose, for example, can return to the court in as little as eight months, but it could take up to three years to return to pre-injury form. Dr. Cole says one variable in recovering from a knee injury actually has to do with the brain. We've also learned the psychology of getting back and the fear of injuring it again can be overwhelming for some athletes. So when we look at statistics about the failure to return to their pre-injury level, for example, it's not just because they're grad, it's not all, it's, it's less commonly, it's just the knee. In fact, less than 50% of the time, if you ask them, it's not because of the knee, it's other things that come into play.